But first, power problems for tens of thousands of people. Some tell us the power companies forgot about them. They say when they called Duke Energy, Duke thought the power was already back on. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Thanks for staying with us tonight. That is one of the problems. We're also learning the power came back on in one neighborhood, but then a fire cut it off again. Here's a look now at the outages across Central Florida right now. Brevard County is the worst. Nearly 44,000 customers are still in the dark. Flagler has almost 10,000, while Orange County has more than 21,000 families without power. It is better in Osceola and Sumter counties. Fewer than 5,000 families still don't have power there. But the outage numbers remain high in Seminole and Volusia counties. In Seminole, about 16,000 customers are out, and in Volusia, more than 20,000. One neighborhood in Orlando got power back on for just an hour, but then lost it. News 6's Clay Laporte is live in Orlo Vista. So, Clay, what happened out there? Eric, neighbors say they watched as crews were out here repairing the power on one of the lines right over here when not long after a tree caught fire on one of the lines, causing the power to go back out again. Repairs continue from Hurricane Irma, but these contractors with Duke Energy aren't just bringing the power back on. They're bringing it back on again. It came back 2 o'clock this afternoon and then and it went back again. Peggy King and Wilmer Labade live here in Orlo Vista and have been without power since Sunday night, without all the little things like air conditioning or a cool refrigerator. So the sight of power crews today was a sign of hope. So was seeing their power come back on. That is until neighbors say a tree branch caught on fire on one of the lines shortly thereafter. Caused fire, they had to call the fire department and put out the fire and it made the power go off again. So now the power lines are trying to get repaired by the power company that's subcontractor from out of state. So we're happy to see them. This story in Orla Vista does have a happy ending, though three hours after that tree branch fell on, catching fire, power was restored in this neighborhood at around 5 o'clock. But Eric, as you mentioned just a little bit earlier, still plenty of outages and people without power all across Central Florida. You know, Clay, I was with crews for much of the week. They explained exactly situations like this. You've got to do it sequentially, step by step. Thank you, Clay. We'll see you again tonight at 11. Duke Energy admits it had a problem with its system and thought some customers had power when they really didn't. So tonight, Duke tells us it has changed its automated system so customers can talk to real people more quickly. They have a number for you. It's 1-800-228-8485. We put it on clickorlando.com for you. You can speak to a representative immediately. They tell us there is that number again. It's very important. We want to show it to you one more time. 1-800-228-8485. If you still don't have power, you know somebody who doesn't, call that number. They will actually pick up the phone and talk to you.